Hey guys, this is Charlie McGing, and today is Mindset Monday. So what I'm going to be going over in this episode is aggression versus a more relaxed approach, relaxed approach in the gym, uh, which is going to give you the best results in terms of your strength and your muscle growth. So first of all, let's go over aggression. Now, a lot of videos and stuff promote aggression in the gym, you know, pumping yourself up before sets, hitting your session hard, and uh, being aggressive with every set. So uh, I do use this, and I, I used to use it for the whole workout, but basically uh, I kind of got a bit burnt out towards the end of the session. But I do use it uh, at the beginning of the session for my heavy lifts and for my heavy strength sets. So what I'll do is I'll basically kind of jump up a bit, um, kind of get into that angry, aggressive mode and uh, basically just get into a kind of rage mode before the set. So the benefits of this is especially before big strength sets and you know low rep sets and stuff, uh, it really helps you to lift more and to do more reps with that set. So, you know, this is something that's really, really important if you're going for a PR, um, a personal record, if you're trying to hit a new weight that's heavier uh, than you're used to, or you're trying to hit a new rep range than you're used to. So it's really gonna help you to push yourself, get them a few extra reps out and be stronger. Now, the downside to this is that it does use up a lot of energy. Because you're mustering um, you know, that emotion and that energy and that rage, then afterwards you're gonna feel a little bit more tired than if you just went into it relaxed. So what you'll find is uh, if you do this for every single set in your workout, towards the end of the session, you're gonna start to feel a bit tired, you're gonna feel uh, lower energy, and so you might feel a bit weak in the exercises towards the end of the workout. So basically it's not really ideal for you to be um, you know, getting aggressive and building that kind of rage, um, emotion and energy for every single set because your performance is gonna go down significantly with the exercises at the end of your workout. So um, the next kind of idea that you can use and uh, the next kind of a mindset that you can use in the gym is to kind of go in relaxed, chill, and um, just kind of hit the weights and hit the sets that way. So if you're kind of uh, approaching each set uh, very relaxed, then what you'll find is instead of um, you know using loads and loads of energy, you won't use as much energy. So for each set, you're gonna be um, not hitting as much in terms of strength and in terms of reps, but you'll be um, using less energy. And so towards the, the end of the workout for the exercises at the end, you're gonna um, have more energy and you're gonna be able to perform better in them sets. So this is really important to get the most out of your workout in terms of volume Volume is the most important stimulant for muscle growth. So you wanna make sure you get enough volume in. And so kind of approaching it in a relaxed way is gonna help you to get that extra volume. The drawback to going in relaxed is for your PR sets and your strength sets, you're probably not gonna be able to hit as much and lift as much weight as if you went in aggressive. So um, that is kind of the drawback of the relaxed kind of state. So what I do, what I've been doing in the past year and what I tell my clients to do is basically at the beginning of your workout with the heavy strength sets on stuff like bench press, deadlifts, squats, etc. You know, when you're just trying to hit a few reps or, you know, five reps, you're trying to hit um, heavier weight than you're used to normally, you're trying to hit PRs, etc. Get aggressive, pump yourself up before you uh, do the set and so then you're gonna be able to perform better and if you do this week after week, your strength is gonna go up a lot faster, your PRs are gonna go up a lot faster and you're generally gonna get a lot stronger. Now, after you've kind of done that, 
when it comes to the more isolation exercises and the higher rep compound movements, then that is when you need to relax and uh, you know conserve your energy and get them reps in. So um, basically towards the end of the workout, you still have energy, you still conserved um, enough energy for the exercises towards the end of the workout. So you're gonna perform uh, well in them exercises and so um, generally you're going to get more volume in and uh, your physique is generally going to look better and you're going to get more muscle growth from that. So um, I know this isn't a kind of thing that's normally talked about in uh, fitness and kind of bodybuilding uh, because it's more of a mindset rather than something you know that you actually do in terms of sets, reps, exercises, etc but it's something that's really helped me and it's something that's gonna make a big difference in your strength and your muscle growth. So that's it guys, thanks for listening. If you like the video, click like below. It really helps me to build my brand and uh, help to grow uh, my videos and my pages. So click like below, uh, subscribe if you wanna see more of these, comment if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.